Okay, so now in this tutorial we're actually going to do the comment box. Um, if if you're new to PHP um, and the last one was a little bit confusing, okay, don't worry about it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna walk and talk through these things a little bit later. But like I said in the end of the last tutorial, it was just a bit of housekeeping. The whole point of these tutorials is to teach you how to do these things. Okay, so sometimes you have to take a big jump to learn something, but I don't care how many video tutorials this takes, we're going to do it from start to finish with a good explanation, alright? Okay, so now we have potentially five comments of the comment of this person will go here, blah 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 blah, all the time by me. Now we need some way of, to be able to actually uh, make a comment ourselves so we can start generating uh, comments and put them into the database. So the comment box is going to go in between user feedback and the first comment here. So let's move on by making this. Now the reason why I did this also is so we can clean up this code. Well, why I did all this um, PHP here is so we can clean this code up a little bit more. Okay, so we can actually see what's going on. Okay, oh, no, I don't want to go in there. The the UL class and this one here, that's where all the comments are going to go. And our comment lists is going to stay here. Now, we don't want our comment box to have anything to do with this one box here okay we want it to sit away from it between user feedback and the and the one comment list itself now if we use firebug you can see that the comment list here it doesn't have a border so we're going to sit it in between these two one elements now for okay so let's just say div class and comments inserts Okay, so that's going to be our main um, wrapper itself for this comment insert. So let's go and make a class for this, shall we? And for the sake of this, let's put this in another file. So let's make another um, CSS file. And let's say comment underscore insert. Okay, with NetBeans it attaches the, uh, the file extension automatically for you. So let's just dump all of this. Whoops. Let's come to our index page and we have to basically um, add it in. Now I don't like adding too many um, too many of these to the actual page so I much prefer um, adding it to my main layout and at the top we then import it. Okay. Now we import it using the uh, ampersand or the, the at sign and then import and then in here we just say the file. Now because it's in the same folder uh, we don't have to worry about it, so we just say in the uh, insert this here, just like that. Okay, and this will be fine. We we'll save this, refresh it, come down to our HTML to see whether we're actually loaded the um, data, and we can come down here and we can see it, it went there, but we actually need to find out that the uh, CSS got loaded. So let's come back to here, let's get the uh, um, the class because I forgot what the class was called. Let's come into here and let's just say that it's a height of 100, a width of auto, margin 10 for the sake of this and border 1 pixel and then E1, 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 E1. Let's refresh our page. Okay, and as you can see that our style is actually been loaded using the import method. So let's come back down to here and you potentially don't see it, see the CSS in here, but then if you use Firebug, you can then change the file um, here and you can see that it has been loaded. All right, so it got loaded, um, it got loaded properly. Okay, um, right, okay, so let's forget about that. Now we've got our comment box. Now this 100 the height of 100 is just not going to do, I don't believe. We need to make it a little bit taller, um, more height of that. So let's make it 200. We want a good comment box area. Okay, we don't want it too small. So let's just zoom out again. Um, I think that's probably a little bit too big. So 150 um, be a little bit better. Or not 1,100, no, 1,500. Okay, that's good. Okay, now in this example, uh, the person's already going to be logged in on your website all right therefore we're going to know what their image is and we can know what their name is already so we don't have to worry about the person putting in their name or their email address anything like that this is going to be a restricted comment box and we're 
only the person, only people that are registered or logged in on your website can comment. It's a good way of getting um, user feedback, okay, and it's a, a way of stopping um, the likes of robots and so on from commenting on your website all the time. The person's got to be logged in. Um, okay, so we just need to have some generic way of doing it. Naturally, we need um, a, a text area for the person to write their information in. And what we're going to do is we're going to display their image there, just a lot like YouTube does it. Um, so it's their name, like kind of David Thorne says. Uh, and so on. So we can kind of, kind of copy this one box already as such, um, to be able to do the comment. All right. So let's, we're going to do it from from scratch. Uh, yeah. We can do. We can do. We can do. We can do. No, no. We're just going to do it uh, a basic put down here comment, and then underneath do our comment box and then with a button uh, underneath okay so let's um, continue so the comment box area and in the top we want let's have just then um, a title of h3 and then this is a, a um, person's name uh, or say let's say who says let's call this who says and in in here let's put then says and then David Thorne, right here first of all, and yeah, then underneath that we have then a text area, and this can have then a class of equals uh, comments insert text, and we can finish that off. All right, I'm not going to bother bother with putting any names on there um, at the moment until we start doing the JavaScript. So let's go and do the who says shall we and we'll just say comment insert and then dot who says and that was h3 as well and we want to have the height of say I don't know, 30 for the time being and line height of 27 and let's go and get the color shall we the color of um, this text here and it was then this that's for the color I want okay so then the color of that there and then the font size of I don't know 14 I think we used the line height that one's good let's save this and let's have a look at um, what we get all right now I like that kind of so we need to um, budge this text in very very slightly so we're just going to add um, a margin of 10 on the left hand side <coughs> have another look I think possibly the text oh no it's okay you know and we can have a margin on the right hand side as well of 10 and then we could put a nice little border on the bottom so let's do a margin of 10 and then just say border bottom and then um, E1 E1 again okay let's have another look okay we're not seeing the margin oh we need to have width equals auto in order for that to work okay so that's what the, the changes which we've made is it not getting that border is bottom oh David you idiot <laughs> okay there we go let's do it again okay that's better now this text area um, we want to we want to modify um, somewhat so we can do comment insert once again and then put that in there and then we've got comment body or comment insert text and we're going to explicitly say this was a text area not with a capital A though just like that and this is going to then be a margin and 5 pixels top 10 pixels right 5 pixels bottom 10 pixels left border is equal to one pixel this time David a1 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 and width equals auto height equals auto now I'm kind of guessing that we're going to have to give um, this a width yeah see it, it doesn't it doesn't like that all right so we're going to have to um, give it a width of a hundred percent now I don't want to I don't like giving width of a hundred percent let's see what happens here trouble is because it, it 
boots itself over to the side. <coughs> now, uh, the best way for us to do this would be to wrap this one text area in its own container. Okay, so we're going to say um, comments insert uh, container okay because then we can put a margin on this and that will be um, happy and then we can just tell this hey be 100% and do what it is you want and this one box here that will be the one that actually positions it correctly for us so uh, let's just copy this again because potentially this one here is null and void okay let's remove this text area from it and we've got um, insert container which we want now this can be margin top uh, margin five top five right ten bottom five left ten border and so on can be um, can be fine all right width equals auto because we don't need to worry about that height equals auto as well now the insert area we don't want any mar the the text area sorry we don't want any margin on it the border we're going to put as none all right because we've got a border already on the box on the outside width equals 100 percent and height equals 100 percent this should now work okay that's fine because um, it potentially did work because we didn't set a height for the the comment insert container so let's go ahead and set a min height on here of I don't know uh, what do we have 200 at height 150 so let's just put 100 in here first of all and we do some um, fire bug um, changes here okay it looks okay to me so now we could bump it up a little bit more so with inside of the style on the right hand side we can say we could just press the up arrow key and it will just do it for us okay so we want come to the line one two three four five down six seven eight nine ten okay 102 yeah okay let's just there's yeah, fine we'll leave it at 102 okay so it's a height of min height of 102 now this board is the wrong wrong color for me okay so change it to e1 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 do a re refresh now it's good okay now we just need to um, sort this text out with inside because um, we want it to match everything else on the page so let's see what color we put this one text and comment body what do we put do ah do we put okay so I think we put a wild card of what color is that text then comment body we didn't put any color okay no comment text no color let's have a have a check so what page was that it was uh, line 134 okay we didn't put any color on it fine okay okay so we want the the text area okay which we're now going to set um, the color for and we're going to say 555 five, five for the beginning to see what it's going to look like let's refresh it yeah that looks uh, okay to me and let's just make sure we're on normal um, zoom rate on Firefox yeah that's good but we're going to do a padding on this of five pixels and I think this should all work out fine okay yes it did okay but it pushed it over Ah, see there it pushed the box out um, too much which is not not particularly what we want so rather than doing a padding let's bring the width down um, by one percent and let's see what we get now shall we okay but that then takes it all oh, that's not going 100 percent min height 102 let's have a check what the height is on this Let's give this page a complete refresh because we need to reload. Okay, so the text area um, isn't isn't particularly working for us totally here. So we're going to have to we're going to have to manipulate it just a little bit. Um, now, my advice on this would then be to say position absolutes 
top pixel. I mean, if this works, first of all, and then we say bottom zero pixels, right zero pixels. Okay, to see, and we can get rid of. Uh, we can say width 100%, not 110%, because that would just be so much more effort. But we don't need 110%. Then the container, we're going to say then position relative once again. And now let's see what happens. Okay, let's have a look. Oh yes, it works. Okay, so now we can see that um, the the text area container has filled our box up completely, which is what we want. Now I believe if we add in in our text area container the padding of five pixels, let's see whether it pushes it out now. Okay, so it still pushes it out, um, but rather than doing padding, what we can do is we can say top five pixels, left five pixels, bottom five pixels, right five pixels, okay, just to push it in five pixels. Okay, but then once again, because it's 100%, oh, no, we don't need then width 100%. Okay, we can remove that. Now that should work fine. Aye. Okay, so we're we're coming across. Uh, this is a bit of a nightmare. Let's try width auto. No, okay, we're going to have to go with width width one hundred percent. And then height one hundred percent as well. And we'll get rid of put these set these back to zero. Okay, and then put height one hundred percent as well. There's a couple of things with inside um, HTML that just um, are a nightmare. Okay, so now that we've um, got this one um, box there, uh, we now need to, to basically make the buttons and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave that for the next tutorial as this one's getting a little bit too long. Okay, so, right, so I'll see you in tutorial uh, number eight, I believe. Okay, anyway, the end of this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.